Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nacho So Man with another review here on Tuesday. It's good to see you guys. Hey, my friends, this episode, I'm actually going to be taking a closer look at the Mountain Man Soap Company's Lumberjack. And on a side note, guys, in this episode, I'm actually going to be uh, featuring or presenting my new microphone. Uh, I just recently invested in So in the comments, if you can, if you don't mind, just uh, let me know how I sound, if I sound better than before. Uh, hopefully I do. <laughs> you know, just trying to learn how it works and stuff like that. So with that being said, though, let's get right into the review. Jumping into the video, I always like to start by looking at the packaging. This is what this soap is going to look like when you first get your hands on it. At first glance, it comes in a cardboard box. You have your logo on the front with a nice little uh, window. It has a little story in the back, has ingredients, uh, gives you a little bit more uh, backstory about who the company is, what they're about, and things like that. It's got a, it's got a pretty uh, kind of funny uh, little. Uh, Slogan on the side, shave with your axe, bathe with our soap. Okay, <laughs> so that's that's pretty funny. Yeah, cool. So that's what the box looks like, though. Don't spend too much time here, but it looks pretty cool. I like it. It's a little rugged, fits the theme. I um, or at least fits with what they're trying to go for, if you will. But uh, with that being said, though, let's jump to the next part where we just uh, take a closer look at the soap itself. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Lumberjack by the Mountain Man Soap Company. And right away, guys, as you can tell, this is a pretty darn big bar of soap here. The soap actually comes in at eight ounces. It has this brick, uh, or features a brick style cut. It also has this really pretty reddish brown color as well. Super fascinating. Actually, what's pretty neat about it that color actually comes from the uh, cedar or the red cedar sawdust that is being put in this soap is using as one of the main ingredients. And that's what's giving it its color. That's super fascinating, super cool. Definitely new to me and never seen that before. I just think that's really cool. Um, and you, if you look closely, you can see it uh, has like a, it's kind of a little rough there. It looks uh, like there's something in it. It's actually the ground oatmeal. And, uh, that you're seeing. Could be also sawdust, I don't know. I can't tell. I just know that's definitely the ground oatmeal. So when you're looking at the box, you're looking at the soap, it's pretty neat because everything's like really meshing together. It's creating this like a really nice theme, this really nice style from the name of the company itself to the name of the soap itself to the artwork on the box and the color of the soap. Just everything's really, really going together really well. I mean, it's a really neat theme here. So just gotta give some props to that. But uh, let's move on to the next part of the video where we go ahead and talk about the ingredients. So let's move right along. All right, fantastic guys. Now that we're gonna take a closer look at these ingredients of the Lumberjack. And right away, I wanna give a shout out to Mountain Man. I absolutely love the fact that they take such pride in putting all natural ingredients. Uh, if you go on their website and uh, like look at their about page, my man is like literally posting videos <laughs> about this whole process of how he makes his soaps. <laughs> it's pretty cool actually. And not, I don't think anyone really takes the time to do that, but he's like breaking it down for you. Like everything that even tells you how he makes his soaps, which is pretty cool and pretty unique actually. So I just want to give him a little quick little shout out there. So upon further inspection, guys, we have some pretty neat things here going. We got four different oils. You got your palm oil, your olive oil, your coconut oil. We even have hemp seed oil, man. We have re uh, redwood sawdust, which I've never seen before. I think that's really cool. That's what's giving the soap that uh, reddish brown color. We have ground oatmeal, which is acting as an exfoliator. And is also like giving a, like that rugged look. And we even have grapefruit seed extract. We got all kinds of stuff going on here, man. And one more awesome ingredient I really want to point out. Uh, Mountain Man Soap Company actually uses a earth filtered mountain spring water. I think that's really cool. They typically tell you don't use tap water, use distilled water. But my man here is going to step beyond that is actually literally using water from the mountains. <laughs> so. Uh, I think it's really fascinating, really cool. Uh, so the ingredients here are, are really top notch, uh, all natural. I think it's really cool, really fascinating. Uh, got no complaints here. Now I did reach out to him and I didn't get a response yet. Um, still waiting on that. Ho hopefully I get something, asking a little bit more clarification on what he means by fragrance. He says he makes his own fragrance oils and stuff like that. He uses a blend of like natural oils and essential oils. I wanted a little, a little bit more clarification on what he means by that. 
Uh, I am intrigued though, it's really fascinating. All right guys, with that being said, these are the ingredients found in the Lumberjack. Let's move on to the sniff test where I always do my best to describe what the bar soap smells like, so. Right away, this soap is definitely a woozy smelling soap. The Lumberjack is definitely more on the subtle side, but I wouldn't say it's like to the point where you can't smell it. It definitely has a nice presence, a nice odor to it. I will say this as well. What's fascinating to me though, it, uh, it has this like a uh, certain like sweetness to it. Uh, very slight, very calm, very soothing, uh, which is really nice. Um, just looking at the ingredients, I, I think what that is is the aloe vera. I think it's the aloe vera that, that really complements the, the redwood or the cedar, whatever, whatever woodsy smell, whatever's providing our woodsy smell in that way. It, uh, which is crazy because usually aloe vera, uh, really takes a back seat to most of your stronger smells. But here it really acts as a, kind of fills it out. You know, it really uh, underlies the woodsy smell to give it to where it's like more pleasant, real soothing, uh, slight, slight sweetness, kinda like uh, aloe vera is known for. Um, but it's fascinating it, and it's really nice. Uh, I really, really dig the way the soap smells. Um, my, I think my only, complaint or not not really a complaint uh but more my uh, i guess my where my critique comes in i wish it was actually a little stronger um which is crazy for me to say but i wish uh it really leaned more than the sawdust because when i think sawdust i think of a very powerful aromas uh fresh cut wood is really strong um i mean you can smell that from like a block away sometimes um but here it's, it's, it's really subtle and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Just my, I guess just more at more my expectations more than anything. I think the soap smells fine. I just would have liked it a little bit more stronger, kind of lean into a little bit more than a sawdust smell. But uh, other than that, I think the soap smells really nice actually. But uh, with that being said though, guys, let's move on to the lather test where we're gonna see how this bar of soap actually lathers. So let's move on. Now that looking at the lather test, as we could tell, the lather is really spot on for the Lumberjack. Really impressive, nice, rich lather there. Guys, now moving on to the final segment of our review. This is kind of where I like to typically do my final thoughts and kind of wrap everything up and give an overall impression. We took a closer look at the box, really enjoyed the box work there. Uh, had a very natural feel to it. And along with the soap, which had that uh, really reddish brownish color, uh, they really meshed together, had like a really nice theme, nice vibe going on from the name, the color, the style, just everything. It just really all worked together. I really like the theme of it. And hey, not only do I appreciate like the, the ingredients being all natural and stuff like that, I also appreciate like some of the ingredients being really unique and different. I really like when I come across things I've never seen before in a soap in particular, like the redwood sawdust and the, the mountain filter, the, the, earth fil uh, the earth filter and mountain spring water. I thought that was really cool. Um, I did reach out to the to the guy or to the company. Uh, haven't got a response yet. Really hoping for that. I just want some clarification because he said he makes his own fragrances and things like that. 
and he really boasts about all being natural and stuff like that. So uh, I just want to like, I just kind of want to like clarify what he means by all that. So, but has responded yet. So when he does, I'm, I'm kind of really want to share that with y'all. I think that'd be pretty cool. And in terms of soap, man, um, just like I said before, I really did like the woodsy smell. Uh, and it was subtle, but not too subtle. And I really liked how the aloe vera just kind of just uh, filled it out. Uh, gave almost like a sweet, calm gentleness to the woodsiness. I uh, really thought it was a cool combination. Really gave you a sense of uh, being natural and being out in the woods and things like that. That, that was really cool. So again, really fits in the vibe and the theme here, so. So in the end, this soap is eight ounces, which is a very good size, and it will cost you $10. So uh, considering it is basically twice the size of a lot of other natural soaps, and a lot of them do charge you from seven to ten dollars. It's actually pretty good value here, actually. My only gripe with the soap, and actually is really my only gripe, honestly, is the shipping hand is kind of pricey. Uh, I bought two soaps from this guy, and they were the shipping hand ended up costing like ten dollars. Like, yeah. So it was like ten dollars, like twenty bucks, plus another ten. It's like so thirty dollars for two soaps at the end of the day. I was like, eww. That's a, that's a bit much for me. Um, I don't know why it's so expensive. I know he's shipping from California. I don't know why, um, but it's a little, a little bit much. Now I know orders uh, north of forty-five dollars. He does offer free shipping, handling, things like that. So there are ways to go around it. Um, and I also do know he does like the, like a lot of soap companies does like some type of subscription service. So you can save a few bucks, you know, here or there. I just think uh, so. There are ways to get around it. Uh, but if you just wanted to buy a soap straight up, that might not be the best way to do it um, because the shipping handling is a little pricey for sure. So I, I, I don't, I don't understand. The shipping handling is like so off, like just everywhere for a lot of these companies. And some are like $5, some are $3, some are $10. Uh, some do uh, like um, free shipping handling, things like that. It's just, it's kind of everywhere, um, but here, this really my only gripe with the soap. Other than that, the soap, the quality of the soap is, is pretty um, pretty on point, pretty outstanding actually. No complaints there. I really enjoyed my time with the soap. So it's unfortunate that something that has nothing to do with the soap itself uh, be my main gripe, uh, gripe with the soap. So disappointed there. However, if, if that's something, if you're still curious and like, if you think the soap's worth it, I say the soap's worth it. Definitely for you to check out in terms of that, but just be be uh, be ready for a, a nice little uh, shipping uh, fee for sure. So um, at the end of the day, though, guys, I think it's a great soap. Um, I had no complaints. I think it performed phenomenally. I actually really enjoyed the way it made my skin feel. Um, the ingredients, everything, everything was just on par for this soap, man. So like I said, a little disappointed with the uh, with the shipping handling. Something that has nothing to do with the soap. But, but guys, that's pretty much my review. I hope you got something out of this review for you. Um, but till next Tuesday, guys, this is Natural Soap Man again. Hope you guys have a good one. Let me know what you think in the comments below for sure. Always remember to check me out on Instagram, posting their stuff too. Um, and uh, if you got any questions, man, just let me know. So, but till then, next time, guys, y'all take care and bye-bye. Uh,